Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a super exciting review that I've been waiting all week to film for you guys. A lot of you guys subscribe to me because I do love Pat McGrath products and I love reviewing them. Usually I get them up a lot faster. My life has been crazy. I am so sorry, but I'm finally getting it up for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the new Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette. <laughs> I just want to get straight into the nitty gritty of this palette. It is $125. You can pick it up at patmcgrath.com and sephora.com as well. It comes with 10 shades, 3 mattes, 2 satin, 2 shimmers, and 3 of her super fine glitter formula, which I will go into later, but it's my favorite formula ever. This is made in Italy like all of her other palettes. I like to mention that because Italy seems to make some of the best shimmer glitter products, and I mean it shows in this palette. So I did want to point that out. So let's just talk about the packaging really fast. The thing with Pat McGrath eyeshadow and makeup in general is that it's really expensive because it's about the experience. You're literally purchasing art when you buy this. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. So when you get the palette, you're going to get it just like the other Mothership palettes in this beautiful cardboard with this art on it. It's just the experience. When you buy her products, you're getting an experience. You're paying for that experience, which I personally think is worth it. This is art. I like to keep it. So it's that same cardboard where you have to unravel the string to open it up and it's going to reveal the same packaging that all of her other Mothership palettes come in. This black lacquered case that's extremely heavy and then it has in gold her logo. You open it up, it of course has that same big beveled mirror and then it's going to reveal the 10 eyeshadow shades. Now as you can see, it is named the Bronze Seduction Palette because there are a lot of bronze neutral colors, but there also is a lot of colorful colors kind. But it's not just a bronze palette, it does have some colors in there, which really make this palette very, very versatile for a bunch of different looks and a bunch of different occasions. Here are the swatches of this palette that I want to show you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is probably my favorite Mothership palette that she has come out with. I just think that with this color theme, you can make this a wearable look, but you can also make it really glittery for different occasions, going out, going to the club, doing a smoky eye in the evening, but still not being too much. I just think the layout of these colors is perfect. She made the perfect color theme for being able to do a bunch of different things with one palette. And by the way, all of these shadows did swatch beautifully on my arm, even the mattes. Now, let's talk about the formulation of this guy. I am very, very familiar with Pat McGrath's formula as I have all of her other Mothership palettes. I love them, they are my favorite eyeshadow formula. I'm just gonna be honest and straight up and this eyeshadow palette is the same formula and it's amazing and this is now one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. The mattes blend beautifully. You do get a beautiful kind of inner corner brow bone satin color in here. It's a little bit more sheer. It doesn't stand out in swatches, but it is a very useful and necessary color. She does have a new formula that I've never tried out. Uh, this is the shade Bronze Blaze. It has a base color of bronze gold, but it does have glitters in it that make the formula feel gritty, but they don't fall over your face and they stay to your eyes. So that's not an issue. It's honestly, it's such a beautiful color. I really love it. It's not the same as her normal glitter formula because the glitters are are infused in the shade. They're not quite as finely milled. You can definitely feel them, but it looks beautiful on the eyelid. I really like that there is this beautiful crimson red. It's really a satiny shimmer color. Very, very smooth and it's very unique and it looks very good all over the eyelid. And then, of course, she did put three of her glitter formula in this palette, which I'm so excited about because Mothership 4 did not have this glitter formula and I was very disappointed because this is my favorite formula of eyeshadow ever. It's the most beautiful glitter formula. You get so much sheen and so much duochrome and the colors, so much dimension. I just cannot get enough of this formula. If she ever came out with a 10 pan palette of this formula, I think I would die. So one of them is this gorgeous rose gold color, which is on my lid. So glittery without the mess. Now how I like to apply these glitter formulas, I like to apply it with a glitter glue underneath just to get that maximum pigment, but you don't need to. Glitter is not going to fall everywhere. If you want more of a sheer layer of that glitter, you can get that with this, but I just really wanted the pigment to show, so I did 
use a glitter glue underneath in the look that I did today. Also, two of those glitter formulas are duochrome. You get one that is a little bit more green to pink shift, and then you get one that is more of a yellow to white shift. If you just want to take a look at these, I know it's hard to see. Almost a yellow to lilac shift, honestly. What's super cool about this formula as well is when it is duochrome, you still can see the duochrome on your eye. It's just not something you see when it's swatched. It is also duochrome on your eye. Those two duochrome colors do have a bit more of a translucent base, which I really like to put on top of other eyeshadows. It really changes the look just by layering them, and that is what is so amazing about this glitter formula. They layer amazing over other shadows just to transform your look. So I would definitely recommend trying that out if you have this palette. You can just be so creative with this palette, and you can create so many different looks. I cannot get over this palette. The formulation is a 10 out of 10. That's all I'm going to say. You get so much variety as far as formulas go and finishes go in this palette and it's only 10 shades i just i think this is my favorite mothership palette so i mean truly that's all i can really say about this palette i'm blown away it is amazing every single color in here has a reason for being there and every eyeshadow in this palette is executed beautifully i mean as it should be you're paying 125 dollars for it really quickly i would like to get into how i did this look and what colors i used so i started off with the shade entrapment which is a terracotta shade a beautiful shade for your crease it blended like butter i had no issues with it um i like that this color is in here because I'm probably gonna use it for every look if i'm being honest i then went in with this eggplant shade and i used that in my outer corner again the colors like these tend to blend a little bit more patchy but I had no problems with this it blended like butter another reason why I love this palette and I love that they did incorporate this eggplant color because I like more purple toned looks I then went in with skin show divine glow which is that satin shimmer golden highlight color <laughs> I just put that underneath my brow bone it looks very good there kind of a boring color but definitely necessary at this point I did go in and put some glitter glue on my lid and then using my finger I went and applied rose gold 005 all over my lid I basically wanted this to be the center point of the look so I applied it literally everywhere past my crease I just wanted this to be a really shimmery glittery look and as you can see this formula is amazing it hits the light amazing I can't get enough of it and then just to put on another color I did take the shade astral luna gold which is that gold to almost lilac shift and I put that a little bit in my inner corners and then also the tear duct area of my eye to highlight and just give a little bit more interest and dimension to the look and put on lashes and did the whole shebang and this is what I did with this palette and I love it if you're interested in anything else that I'm wearing I will put it down in the description box below I didn't want to talk too too much about this palette because I mean it's great everything about it is perfect compared to the other mothership palettes I think this is different if you have the other mothership palettes this is definitely unique enough to add to your collection. There aren't any repeats really. It's just such a unique palette and it fits right in perfectly with the collection and I don't think you should compare them. I think you should just buy this and don't even worry about it. Anyways, as expected, Pat McGrath did not let me down. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!